Hello everyone, Elron here with part 67 of my Minecraft 1, 2, 3. Alright, looks like we're trying to make some more rails. Um, uh, we're at that level where we can be considering going back to the um, enchanting station. Uh, so I guess we're probably going to wrap up the minecart um, out there. First, I'm going to probably punch some of uh, this, because we're going to want this later. And thinking that this time around, I'm letting the sun go down all the way so that I can actually use the bed before starting the trek into the nether. All right. So now we can come in here. Looks like I'm going to continue working on this a bit. That's probably for the best. And then, since wooden doors are flammable, and I don't want to deal with like making buttons and stuff, so I'm just going to make myself a special little um, hole that has a pillar making it so that there's a extremely low chance that um, anything will end up um, attacking. So let's see, where is this ghast? Don't see him, but I saw the effect. So let's uh, finish off uh, this real quick. If he shows himself, we'll, uh, we'll uh, certainly make our counter strike. Alright. So now we've got that um, pillar here. So now we can just uh, finish this up on this side. Meat, and now we're golden. Might as well flatten this up. Alright. Let's give ourselves a little light. And off we go. And that didn't work. And I was under the impression that uh, we lost that, um, that uh, minecart forever. So I was like, all right, screw that. We're going to have to just go with one of these gambits. And we'll just uh, loop around. And that's perfectly fine. Looping around sounds like a plan. Um, let's see, did I end up going the wrong way? Yeah, I ended up going the wrong way. So I need to turn around. And then um, make my way through. And there's the minecart. So it did make its way through, it just some for some reason didn't have me go through. Alright. And I hear the gas, but I don't see him. So I'm just gonna migrate over here. And so now we are ready to uh, proceed. And wow, we recently slept, so did it take us an entire day to do all that? That seems very unlikely. I wonder if time in the nether is distorted, just like how um, space is distorted. It seems plausible. Sadly, there's some 29s I can't get. Um, efficiency 3, alright. That'd be nice if we ever go um, diamond mining um, down in the mine again. Um, so, now we're going to make our way back. Uh, we might actually do this first. Yes, we are going to um, protect our portal and our investments. Alright, so we extend that far. Give ourselves a little buffer and then bring down the walls. Alright, and that area is considered narrow enough to not have to worry about making doorways, that could be our exit hole there. And how the hell did that fucker get there? Alright. He can't be there, dude. Okay. These guys obstructing the place. None of this makes any sense. Well, in any case, this cart is moving too fast now, so we'll probably need to double up on the brakes. 
Otherwise, we'll just keep falling down like that. And so now we're going to uh, get ourselves some more trees, or at least um, some more log from the trees. And I'm going to burn those guys down because they're kind of an eyesore floating around in the middle of nowhere like a bunch of idiots. All right. Because uh, we need wood. That is certainly um, kind of the story of our life. Although we won't be needing wood for quite a while. Um, uh, by the end of next cohort, because we end up strip mining a portion of jungle. A very small portion of jungle, but it was enough to give multiple stacks of wood, so we should be in a very good place in our lives. Um, uh, for some reason, I need some more lava, which probably means I need more obsidian. Well, I don't necessarily remember what for. Oh, yes! I don't have enough obsidian to make myself a, what do you call them, um, um, a um, enchanting table, so I need to make some. But while I'm here, I might as well pick up more than what I need, because I know that I had ambitions to move nether portals around and that kind of stuff, and inside the nether we can't... Oh, wait! No, I was going to ditch the... Um, the moving from inside the nether approach because um, we're fine. Yeah, we made that station. Well, it doesn't matter. It's nice to have obsidian in pocket. Um, I mean, not necessarily in pocket in pocket, but um, in pocket enough. Um, so now we are going to go to sleep again and deposit our lava. And deal with creepers. Um, ever since that bow got that um, extra damage, um, it's been pretty nice. Uh, we only have to hit creepers twice instead of three times uh, to get them killed. Alright. So we're continuing to up our stockpile of um, dirt. That'll be good for us in the next cohort because we'll. Uh, we'll work a bit more on the uh, sheep farm a bit. Uh, we'll finish off the lair that we were in the middle of. Looks like we pulled out a couple diamonds, so we are definitely eyeing the possibility of enchantment tables right now. Alright, so now we're going to make our way back over, and uh, then... We'll see what happens. We're going to need to probably still plant the... Um, yeah, we still need to plant sugar cane, um, so that'll eventually turn into enough sugar to make books, um, which will then, in turn, allow us to make um, bookshelves, which will allow us to empower our um, enchantments. Because if you have some um, if you have some bookshelves in close proximity to a enchanting table, it will make it so that you get better enchantments. Um, and that's a good thing, because um, you know, experience under normal circumstances could be considered as hard to come by, so getting the most out of it's a good thing, and you know, for me, yeah, you know, Netflix episode or two gets me, you know, more than an enchantment. So probably, probably like two Netflix episodes gives me um, three enchantments or something like that. Mind you, these are longer episodes. These are like 45-minute episodes of things. Um, also, um, I end up having some lag issues trying to go two episodes worth. Um, without clearing out the zombies, so you definitely want to clear out your zombies um, frequently-ish. I think I'm trying to do a, you know, 20 to 35 minutes um, interval to be on the safe side. Because going a full hour and a half ended up making things so bad that I ended up having to 
go to their despawn range and essentially lose the crops. That's it for this video. I'll see you next video.